Hello, you all. Welcome to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, what's good? If you are new, hey, boo, I am back with another video. And so, if I hope y'all hear my voice good enough. I got my tripod set up and I'm kind of busy while I'm trying to record this thing, but I want to get this out before I get my day started. So, hopefully, y'all, my voice don't sound too far away, but yeah, all in all, we're just going to get into it. Um... I feel like this topic is important for me to discuss. Actually, I've been wanting to make a topic about this for a nice little minute. I feel like this is important because people be coming to social media. They be looking to social media for validation. You know what I'm saying? Check your feelings before coming on social media. Okay? Social media don't care about your feelings. Okay, this is just going to be a real raw straight video this morning. Social media does not care about your feelings. Okay, they don't care what you're going through. They don't care how you got insecurities about yourself. And you want to come on land. You want people to placate to you and cater to your feelings. And hype you up and make you feel good about yourself. Listen. If you are insecure before you get on land, you are going to be that same insecure person when you get on land. But see, the one thing with social media and why I say social media can be a good thing and a bad thing for certain people. And it can literally be the devil's playground. Okay. People be coming on here trying to play tough and stuff on land. But really, they be weak and insecure. You know what I'm saying? They are always looking to social media for validation and approval. Okay. People can tell when a person is just doing too much for attention they want everybody to like them and accept them and things like that that stuff come off real desperate and you can spot a lot of people like this online you know how you ever came across that person to where it seems as though they want everybody to like them and if everybody don't like them their day is ruined okay you got some people out here that uh, it can be some things going on in their life behind the scenes and they come on social media looking for approval. You know what I'm saying? They looking for likes and praises and hand claps, roses thrown on the stage and flowers and stuff like that. Because this may be the type of person that may not be getting this kind of treatment in real life. You know what I'm saying? They may be getting dealt a bad hand behind the scenes of the camera. And so when they come on social media, they got people that don't know them. You know what I'm saying? And they can just kind of feed their ego a little bit and kind of hype them up. And while they can be good for a certain point, at some point, it just become a little bit too overwhelming. You know what I'm saying? You know how you always, I don't know how to explain this, but you can tell when a person is desperate for attention. Okay. You can tell when a person is extremely insecure about themselves, and so they look for validation on social media, you know? And see, this is the thing. I've been keeping this topic so close to my chest now, but I'm going to put this out here because, and see, this is another thing about being on land. Why I say it's important for you to check your feelings before you get on land, because you got all different types of people from all different walks of life on land. You don't know what you're going to come across when you come on here. So you got to be ready for that. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you got any sort of platform and you call yourself trying to be a leader, you got to be ready for what comes along with that. Okay. You can't be looking for everybody to kiss up to you and placate to you and, you know, basically kiss your behind. Okay. This is not grammar school. This is not pre-K. This is real life. This is the real world. Okay. And so you are going to have some people out here that they are not going to like you. Okay. You are going to have some people that and you just not going to be their cup of tea. You got some people out here that are going to make certain things and they are going to post certain things on that that you are not going to be in agreement with. And you got to learn how to accept it. Stop getting your feelings about every single thing that you see on social media. Like you can't make a person post what you want them to post because you insecure. You know what I'm saying? You got them people that every time they see something on that, they they don't approve of these be the type of people that want somebody to blow their head up with a whole bunch of sweet nothings and that's not real life you know that's not the real world 
these are the type of people that you feel as though you got to walk on eggshells and you can't discuss certain things around them because they are so sensitive and they take everything personal. You know what I'm saying? If you are the type of person that take everything personal, everything seems to bother you and hurt your feelings, I'm sorry, but you shouldn't have a social media platform at all because you are going to constantly be being disappointed and upset because you are always going to be looking for a problem and issue with things that you see online you got people that they really just take everything people say personally the social media can either be your best friend or your worst enemy you shouldn't be coming on social media looking for people to validate your feelings like you supposed to already know who you are before you even come online nobody should be able to say nothing to ruin your day nobody should be able to say nothing to break you down you know you're supposed to already be I don't know. Like I said, you can't always tell when a person is insecure, you know? And then when they don't get a certain response, they really be getting it. These be the type of people that will snap off and get angry. And these be the type of people that they be trying to go all out of their way to try to make friends with every person. And then when they see that certain people ain't really, may not really be having them because like certain people got this kind of presence where it seems as though it's kind of overbearing. It's a little bit too much. This can be a nice person. It ain't really nothing too wrong with this person, but the fact that they are going out of their way to try to seek friendship, validation, and approval, attention from certain people, they can be off-putting to a lot of people. And so in most instances, these people are killing more connections than they are actually making because of their desperation for attention and approval. You have certain instances where uh, once these people don't get a certain kind of response that they are looking for from the people that they want their approval for, they will start to get angry. You know what I'm saying? They will start to go off on little rants and stuff like that. And it just it's just like madness okay this is where you see the different side of this person come out you are gonna always have a person that's not or people that they are not gonna like you it does not matter what you do it don't matter what you say it don't it just doesn't matter if a person don't like you and this is another thing too that i've been hearing a lot of people everybody is a hater these days okay Anytime somebody ain't rocking with somebody like that, they don't approve of certain things that they may do. This person is automatically a hater, okay? Just because you ain't a person cup of tea, that does not mean that they are hating on you. They just don't like you, okay? That's just cut, clear and simple. And guess what? It ain't the end of the world. You got some people, they take certain things too hard. When they see that one person or certain people do not like them, they take that too hard okay these will be the type of people they will try to work overtime to try to gain these people approval and it end up backfiring on them because all they do is make themselves look ridiculous in the process like you are looking really desperate why do you want these people approval so bad you see that they ain't rocking with you it just kind of puts you in the sense like y'all know how when you was in school you always think that girl that and I talked about this in a video while I think it was a video where I talked about what video was that, y'all? Oh, stay away from women that give off mean girl energy. Why well, I said you are gonna have certain people that they are gonna be clicked up and stuff like that. It's always gonna be that one girl out of that group that just don't fit. You know, she stick out like a sore thumb. She always trying to gain this mean girl's approval that she is willing to just take poor treatment from certain people but the thing about it is with this they're trying to go out of their way to um seek approval for certain people and it always seemed to the treatment that she gets it always seems to get worse and worse and worse over time so it just you know how when you see certain people where they are trying to go overboard to try to gain people approval it's kind of hard to watch it's kind of cringy but you got certain people that when you don't accept them, they really internalize that and they take it personally, you know? And it's just like, I don't know. When it comes to social media, uh, people really take this thing to heart. Sometimes people take social media too seriously. This is a lot of people's life. Some people don't have a life really outside of social media. So they make social media their entire world. And so if they see certain things online and see this is the thing about social media and people having platforms you can tell a lot about what be going on in people's lives behind the camera you know it don't matter what they put up 
what type of facade they may try to put up, you can kind of tell through their behavior what kind of life they have. And so they come on van and it seems as though they are trying to do a lot of things for attention. When I say certain people that go over and beyond, these will be the type of people that resort to doing certain types of things just to keep the attention and focus on them. Like this is that person that uh, I'm going to use a perfect example. Okay, say for somebody went viral online for doing something. Once a person go viral online, I have seen it a few times with these people to where they are always trying to fish and fish and fish for more attention. You got some people that when they go viral online, they just keep it moving. They don't care about all that attention. They just, <laughs> it was just a moment and I'm just keeping on moving with my life. I'm finna keep continuing to be myself and you know, whatever. But you know, you got those people that this might be the type of person they never really had too much attention in their real life. And so now that they get a certain kind of attention on them, it kind of make them, it feed, the, it feed their ego a little bit. It make them feel good. You know, that's normal. That's okay. But it becomes to a point to where, like I said, these type of people, they want validation. They want approval. Okay. And so they want that same kind of hat that they got when they went viral. Okay. They want that same kind of attention. So they got to keep constantly showing up, doing this, doing that, doing that. Oh, let me do this. Let me do that. And then, it, you know, it just gets to a point to where they start looking ridiculous. They doing certain things and pulling certain antics and it just, it looks desperate. Okay. It looks like a person that just want attention. Okay. Now say fence, they went viral. Then after that, it, stuff kind of dwindled down. You know what I'm saying? It's just kind of like that one hit wonder kind of thing. After they make that one hit wonder song, people just, they go off to the next best thing. They ain't really paying too much attention to this person like that. This person world has shattered because they are not getting that certain level of attention no more. So you see that they start to stoop low. They start to resort to other different tactics and ways to try to gain the attention of an audience. So when they first started off, they might have started off with good intentions in the beginning, which made them go viral. And then now that they are getting, not getting this level of attention now, it's kind of playing on their emotions. You know, like I said, these are the type of people, the ones that don't get approval, they, they internalize everything. And so the fact that they are not getting attention from people online no more, they want to start targeting people, different influencers. The bullying video I said, they revert to low level kind of behavior. You know what I'm saying? Because they want to keep that shock factor. They want to keep that attention and focus on them. And so now something that they did, which was supposed to be, it might've been something that might've been purposeful, but now they are not getting that attention no more. They would stoop to great lengths. If it means that they would have all the attention that they did when they went viral. Like I said, it's just like chasing their hat. We're gonna kind of take it back to school a little bit. Like I said, this person seemed that they wasn't getting attention and approval from certain people. And so now you see that they are trashing people name all around school. Um, they talking bad, talking about these people behind their back, writing nasty, degrading things on the wall in the bathroom. You know how that stuff used to be back in the day? And writing stuff on the back of the bus seat and on the bus. Oh, this person is a, you know what? <laughs> they have resorted to doing this type of stuff, but we talking about social media. And so they just desperate at this point. They don't care who they got to tear down to keep the attention and focus on themselves. And when you really think back on this thing in hindsight, you got to really think when this person went viral, what was the intent behind why they went viral? Did this viral video come from a pure place or was this person trying to trash somebody's name and they just ended up, you got several people out here and we, we just got to call this thing a thing. People out here are going viral for trying to tear other people down. You know what I'm saying? You got people on here that they got big platforms and they are using it to try to destroy another person. You know what I'm saying? Just because a person don't come on their channel or on their video and say names, that does not mean that they are off the hook. Okay. You just, you got certain people like that. This is why I come on my channel and I tell y'all, like I have never cared about no popularity and stuff like that because when it comes to social media, you have people out here literally willing to do anything to have attention.
Okay, that, that, that stuff is real. Okay, I seen somebody post a video of a while back where they said social media is one hell of a drug. And that is very true. You know, um, you got some people out here that are willing to sell their soul just to buy some attention. <laughs> I heard that in a, um, I think it was a song with Wale, like way back. I think it was called Dice Pan Apples. Yeah, I don't know the song, but yeah, he said people will sell their soul just to buy some attention. No, it was that way. That way with Wale and, um, Wale and whoever, y'all, y'all know that song. They used to be my song though. But yeah, that is extremely true. You got people that they will sell their soul if they can just buy them some attention. They don't care who they gotta tear down on social media. They'll try to come after different influencers and stuff like that. They just want the attention. They don't care who they gotta step on. Okay, if that means that they can get them 10,000 views or 50,000 views, 100,000 views, million views, they don't care as long as they got their attention and their validation from other people okay people will resort to wicked kind of behavior just to have some attention it's that serious you know you got people on here that are right, money hungry too you can see that where they trying to scam people get over on people and then you just got people on here like they don't really they don't even care about the money they just want attention okay and so yeah this is kind of take it back to middle school where that person tried their best and hardest to try to gain approval and validation. They just want someone's approval. They want to be accepted. They want to be liked. They want to be a part of something, you know? And so when they get the opposite effect, they're going to make those people pay for whatever sort of attention that they didn't get. You know what I'm saying? So that's why they writing stuff on the back of the bedroom door, on the lunch table and stuff like that. And then once people get to seeing them for who they are and they become the talk of the school, okay, they end up paying for it. When you do certain things for attention and you go about doing it the wrong way, when you are looking for validation and acceptance and you end up resorting to certain kind of behaviors in order to have that, it's going to be a price to pay for that. It's going to be some consequences behind that. Okay, you just got some people that they are not well. They don't want to put on their big girl panties or their big boy drawers and fess up and face up to whatever chaos they have caused. Okay, this is why at certain instances where they throw the rock and had their hands, they telling people, uh, you got people coming up to them in school confronting them, talking about, oh, I seen such and such said they seen you write my name up under the um, lunch table. You said that I was a B. You said my mama was fed. So, you know, something like that. Uh, why would you say that about me? <laughs> I ain't never done nothing to you. I've been cool with you. I thought you was a cool, nice person. Why are you writing all this nasty, mean stuff about me? The person shaking and shivering, you know, they lying, biting their nails and stuff. How oh, I didn't, I didn't say that about you. Um, such and such said that, you know, throwing a rock and had their hands, like I said. And then people get to, they got more people coming and confronting them about what they have done, and they just it's it's bad like i said things get bad when you put out certain things with the wrong intentions you put that out in the airwaves that's gonna come back to you tenfold okay that's why i say people have to be mad for the sort of influence that they put out in the world if you don't put out certain things with the right intentions that stuff is gonna come back to you okay don't think that you can have your hands and have behind a phone or the internet and think that you are not going to pay some sort of consequences behind that. That's just not how the world works, okay? Like I said, people resort to low-level kind of things just to have attention. And it's the price to pay for that. Like I said, social media is the devil's playground. Some people do not know that they are just in the devil's playground when they don't use their influence in the right way. And this comes to certain instances to where um these people get to feeling guilty they make it to feeling bad about what they have done you know they try to apologize to certain people you know how when somebody try to come and try to kiss up to you or try to be your friend after they have done something foul to you and you just looking at this person like and see this is the thing it ain't nothing wrong with apologizing for your wrongdoing i feel like everybody should do that but when people do certain things and just to see the results behind their action, it, it looked ridiculous. You know, you just went and bought cake and cupcakes for the people that you talked about so bad. You know, you done put all type of stuff out in the world and airwaves and stuff. You know, you get these people, 
probably got careers they got certain kind of things going on in their life and you out here trying to tarnish their name and their character but then you're gonna turn around and try to make them a cake and bring them some cookies and ice cream next couple of weeks nothing they do ever makes sense people manipulative people internet bullies specifically it's just like them people from school <laughs> you say we always everything starts from school this is how we develop and get ourselves prepared for adulthood we build in our character along the way people it, being on the internet is just like being in high school and grammar school what type of person were you in high school and grammar school were you always like that type of person trying to make fun of people talk about people try to bully people like it's gonna come out through your channel okay but yeah you, you got them people out here they'll do stuff like that they'll write your name all over the school call you all type of foul names and stuff like that and then try to act like they not the person that's doing it they going around telling other people oh such and such wrote this they even bringing people into their mess you know bringing people to their mess you got to own up to what you do and see this is one thing about people and then why i say they be trying to bring the lord into their mess they go run and hide behind that type of stuff like you got some people out here that can't really see things in the spirit like you can't just be out here throwing spiritual blows at people and you call yourself trying to follow your purpose you walking with the lord and this and that but you taking shots at people online and then when these people come and confront you you want to run and hide like a sad puppy like you got to fess up you got to put on your big girl draws and face the real world like social media is not going to be your best friend if you're going to get on here and you're going to put certain things out in the airwaves you need to be ready for what's going to come back to you that's why you always got to be mad for what you put out if I put this out, I need to be ready for what's going to come along with this. How's this going to come back to me? How's this profiting me in any type of way? Am I putting this out here to really help people? Like, what is my real, true, authentic intentions behind putting this out here? Okay. And see, this is a thing because people may say, oh, you want to talk. You the one you kind of doing the same thing in a sense when really... I'm taking a stand for myself. That's completely different than me getting on here just trashing somebody, trying to bully somebody. You got to take a stand against evil. I'm going to always come take a stand against the wrong behavior. I don't care how it looks to nobody else. Okay? I told y'all before, I don't care about this social media stuff, popularity. They can take my channel away today. It's not going to affect my life in no type of way. I'm still going to be Kiona Devan, simply Devan at the end of the day. This stuff don't make or break me at all. I'm doing this because this is something that I enjoy doing, I love doing, and I feel like this is my calling. I feel like the Lord want me to be on YouTube. This is the only reason why I'm here. But I'm not going to let somebody come online and try to tear me down, especially when at one point I was supporting this person. That's not cool. That's not right. You're going to get addressed, period, point blank, okay? You got to fess up to certain things that you do. And that's just the real world. Okay, period, point blank. That's just how I'm going to end this message. So hopefully I got something from this video. Hopefully it helped you in some way. Continue to protect your soul and spirit. And I will talk to y'all in the next video.